Hello, welcome. In this session, let us look at the properties of DTFT. The first one is linearity property. Assuming that F dot denotes a DTFT, The linearity property states that f of that is DTFT of a linear combination alpha x1 of n plus beta x2 of n is equal to alpha times the DTFT of the first one, the first signal plus beta times the DTFT of the second signal x2 of n. That means when you apply DTFT on a linear combination, the resulting DTFT is same as the linear combination of the original DTFTs. That is DTFTs of the separate signals or individual signals. So let us look at the proof for this property. Starting with the LHS, that is the DTFT of alpha times x1 of n plus beta times x2 of n we have by using the definition of DTFT we have the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity alpha times x1 of n plus beta times x2 of n multiplied by e power minus j omega n and now this summation can be rewritten as sum of two separate sums that is this summation can be split into two sums. That is summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity alpha times x1 of n into e power minus j omega n plus a second summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity beta times x2 of n multiplied by e power minus j omega n. And since alpha is a constant, it can be taken outside and the rest of the summation is basically the definition of DTFT of x1 of n. So, we can write it as f of x1 of n. That is DTFT of x1 of n. And then similarly, the second sum becomes beta times DTFT of x2 of n. This proves the linearity property. That is the DTFT of a linear combination is same as linear combination of the DTFTs of the original signals or the individual signals. Now let us look at the shifting property that is shifting in time. In time. The time shift property or shifting in time basically says that the DTFT of a signal that is shifted in time is equal to the original DTFT multiplied by an exponential e power minus j omega k. Now let us look at the proof for this theorem. Starting with the LHS that is f of x of n minus k the, which is basically a shifted version of the original signal is equal to the sum n x of n minus k e power minus j omega n. Note that we just write n for n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity. Now let us define a new variable m which is equal to n minus k then n is equal to m plus k then this summation becomes summation m x of m multiplied by e power j omega into m plus k. And this is equal to e power minus j omega k. Since k is independent of m, we can write e power minus j omega k outside the summation. So we have e power minus j omega k into the sum x of m, that is the original sig, that is the signal x of m multiplied by e power minus j omega m. And this summation is clearly the definition of DTFT of x of m. Therefore, this should be equal to e power minus j omega k 
into x of e power j omega. Thus, shifting in time is equivalent to multiplying with a exponential e power minus j omega k to the original dtft. Now let us look at the third property. Frequency shifting. That is shifting in frequency. That is when a signal x of n is multiplied by an exponential exponential of j omega naught n then it is same as shifting the frequency by the omega naught. That is when we multiply or modulate a time domain signal with exponential of j omega naught it is same as shifting the spectrum by omega naught in the frequency domain. So starting with the LHS that is for the proof starting with the LHS we have x of n into exponential of j omega naught which is by definition equal to the sum x of n multiplied by exponential of j omega naught n multiplied by exponential of minus j omega n which is equal to the sum x of n multiplied by exponential of minus j omega minus omega naught into n. Next denoting omega dash as omega minus omega naught you can clearly see that the summation is equal to summation n x of n e power minus j omega dash n which is clearly a definition of the DTFT. Therefore it should be equal to x of e power j omega dash. And since omega dash is equal to omega minus omega naught, we have x of e power j omega minus omega naught. Thus, multiplying a time domain signal with exponential e power j omega naught, that is modulation in time, that is, that is multiplication with exponential of j omega naught, is equivalent to shifting of the frequency by omega naught. Thus, to summarize, in this video, we looked at three properties of DTFT. The first one is linearity property which basically states that the DTFT of a linear combination is same as the linear combination of the DTFTs of the individual signals. The second one is the DTFT of a time shifted signal is the original DTFT multiplied by an exponential e power j omega k where k is the shift in time and the frequency shifting property says that the DTFT of a signal multiplied by an exponential is, is the original DTFT shifted by a frequency omega naught. Our original DTFT which is shifted in frequency by omega naught. Thanks for watching.